So how did it all start? Um, everything, like from the painting since you were a child, have you always wanted to be an artist? And yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I've always only thought of myself as an artist. Um, as, a, as a child, I was the classroom artist and, um, and I've always, my self-identity has always been that of the artist. You know, in my group of friends, I was the artist and, uh, you know, I went to art school and, and uh, have my master's in art and, and I've always identified as an artist. Uh, it's, it's a different way of seeing the world um, and it is the, the only way that I know. Um, I think the next couple of questions are a bit more personal, but I guess mm -hmm. it, um, it, it, um, it could be, you don't have to answer it if you don't feel like it. It could be a little bit more like theoretical if, if you feel like. Um, mm -hmm. If you could live all over again, would you choose to be what the artist that you are now or would you choose to be something else? Well, if I could live all over again, um, I think, I might take a more direct pass to being the artist I am now. Um, a lot of my life, I have done so many things in my life and I've, you know, experienced so much stuff. It's really enriched who I am, but it would have been nice um, to be where I am now when I was 30 years old um, and still have a whole, you know, many decades in front of me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's the answer. I, I would love to do what I'm doing, just do it sooner. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure like when you were younger, it, but it, it all kind of has meaning and brings you to what you are right now. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so much, so much of what, what I've done um, speaks to what I'm doing now. Um, for instance, example, in California, I used to own a business where I did patinas um, on sculpture and I worked with, you know, Peter Volkus and um, Bruce Beasley, Stephen Disabler and another artist like that. And, and I developed the techniques of, of layering um, acids and building up these beautiful patinas on, on these, you know, amazing artists sculptures. Um, and the language that I learned by layering color and layering marks and removing, you know, there's, you do as much removing in a patina as you do layering um, is the exact same language that I'm, that I'm using in my work now. So had I not, you know, had that business and, and worked with those men, um, I probably wouldn't be able to make the kind of art that I'm making now. So you're right. It, everything does um, speak to what I'm doing. Um, all your experiences, you know, form who you are. Yeah. Um, and I think art is, it takes a long time. It, it, there's, it's always a continuous experiment, learning, study. Even if you do like a single um, sculpture or painting, you have a little sketch or your study, and then it grows from there. And eventually in the years, it just keeps on growing. Yeah. I, um, in my case, I, I work both from, from sketches and from photographs that I take. I'm, mm. I'm a photographer. And, um, and then I'll often, you know, work out, um, you know, close to a finished painting on a small scale. And then I'll build it bigger and do it again and, and then problem solve, you know, the new problems that arise as the scale changes. And it can take months to do a piece. I mean, it, it can, you know, they... God, it can take longer than that. Um, some pieces I think are finished and I'll come back later and go, oh my God, what is this? And, and, and redo it and end up with something that's, that's much better than I initially thought was a finished piece. Almost kind of in the same category of questions. Um, if you could do one last artwork, what would it be? What medium, what, what would the theme be? If I could do one last artwork, my very last piece. Um, God, this is a very difficult question. I, um, I put such importance on it. I think I mean, I think I continue to investigate the mark making um, in the in the two dimensional world that I, that I'm working in now. I mean, I think I would. Um, 
try and and use you know random and scattered marks to create an image um now what that image would be would it would it still be the horses that i love and that we own and 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 i'm spent most every day with i'm not sure or would it be you know my children that i love or, or a portrait of my wife um it could be any of those i i don't know it would that's a very important piece your very last one and uh, a difficult question to to address Sorry, I'm, I know it's, it's a really heavy and difficult question, but then um, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, I think, um, especially I've asked that to a few artists that we've had featured before, and it's always different. The answer is always different, the, and especially because some artists that we've had, when I've asked that question, it was through email. So seeing their reaction, I, I mean, I didn't get to see the reaction. Right, right. Those who I have seen and asked personally or virtually, it, it kind of, I mean, obviously you can really feel kind of how they feel and see how much meaning there is for that last piece. Thank you. Uh, okay, here's the last question. <laughs> well, what is your upcoming show after uh, when the one at Peyton Wright finishes at the end of the month? Do you have any upcoming show after that by September onwards? Um, we're negotiating having a show in Michigan, um, which is you know, in the, in the north, um, northeastern part of the United States. Um, and then after that, primarily what I'm working in in my studio these days is commissions. I have a, a really active commission, a uh, painting commission life. And so um, my time in the studio is, is making pieces that no one will ever see, but the, but the owner that, that, that made that commissioned them and, um, and they they won't be going out to, to shows, but um you know, we're looking forward to it. And yeah, one of the, you know, one of the aspirations I have is, um, you know, possibly getting a gallery in, in Europe somewhere. It would be, it would be amazing to be able to show over, you know, over in Europe. So, you know, we're working on it and um, art as well as being, you know, aspirational and part of my life is all, is also um, financial. And, and, and so I have, you know, uh, art international artworks international doing amazing things for me um gathering shows and gathering expeditions so it's onward oh uh, yeah that's all for now um good luck for the coming show and congratulations for the one that just oh will be ending by the end of the month and thank you very much for your time today that was that was very lovely answers and they're yeah i've learned a lot from that as well <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Um, it's an honor and um, I really appreciate it. Thank you.